Welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be showing you the Rotax DD2 gear change. Welcome back to Power Public TV. So, for those of you that have seen a few of our videos, you may recognize this go kart. Okay, this is our Power Public go kart. Now, I've got that here today just to show you how to position your cart on the stand to do your gear change on your DD2 engine. We don't have a DD2 engine on this car, but we do have one on the bench that's here for its end of season repairs. So I'll be showing you how to change the gears on that, but I just want to show you how to set your car up for those that don't know. If you find these videos helpful, please consider subscribing or sharing them with your friends. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment section below. So the first thing that you're gonna to want to do is lift the car off the trolley and lay it down on the outside two wheels on the ground. Once you've done that, lean the cart over and rest it on the trolley. And then that way, the trolley's taking the weight of the cart and you can operate on the back of the uh, go-kart to get the gearbox cover off. Also too, you, you're going to need to remove your wheel and wheel hub off the, off the axle so you can slide the gearbox cover off. So we've got the engine here on the bench, but normally you would do this job on the cart and it would save you taking the engine totally off the chassis just to change the gears. The reason why you put the cart on its side and rest it on the trolley or you turn the engine on here on the bench on its side is that the gearbox is full of oil. Now if you take the cover off and the engine's flat in its normal operation, you're going to spill oil all over the ground and you're going to have to top the gearbox back up again. The first thing we're going to do is remove these M8 cap screws. If you don't have a rattle gun handy, you can just use an M6 T-bar. The next thing you're going to need to do is remove the last six M6 cap screws and then we can remove the gearbox cover. Once you've removed all the bolts, this cover should slide straight off. If the housing's tight on the dowel pins, use a soft face hammer to lightly tap the housing to get it to free up so you can slide it off. Okay, so now you've got your gearbox cover off, you can change your gears. Now it's a very simple job. All you have to do is slide these gears off, just like so. Now there's a needle bearing inside of here and you just want to leave that on the shaft because you don't want to drop that into the dirt, okay? You can give that a bit of a clean up, it's got a bit of burn oil on it. This one's in for a rebuild and um, we're going to be giving it a good clean up. Okay, so this engine's been running out at Extreme Karting here on the Gold Coast. So we've got a set of 36 gears in here. Now the 36s are really good for uh, long straightaways. If you went to a tighter track, uh, you can go down to the 35s, 34s, 33s or even the 32s for a really tight circuit. You can see here there's a marking on the clutch drum 36, that's what we're talking about, a 36 gear. So that's a 36 gear um, and as you go down the 35s will give you more bottom end, 34s more again and so on and so forth. So basically you can see your gear ratio here, as this front gear gets smaller you get better acceleration and as this front gear gets bigger you get better top end speed. The gears do come as a set. A 36 has a 61 rear sprocket. A 37 has a 60 and so on and so forth. So make sure you marry them up as a pair. So to reinstall the gears, simply slide your clutch drum back over your crankshaft. This is the crankshaft here and this is your um, starter gear on the, on the DD2. These are your Rotax clutch shoes. They're a bit thicker on the DD2 as opposed to the Senior Max engine. So they're not interchangeable even though they look very similar. And there's your Bendix gear. Some similar parts here that are crossovers from both Senior Max and uh, DD2. Then simply add the driven gear onto your lay shaft there. Clean up any residual oil and dirt off the gasket face and the gasket. And then reinstall the gearbox housing. Now it's just a matter of reinstalling all the screws and putting the car back out on the track.
So there you have it. That is a, how you change a gear set in a Rotax DD2. Now that video is all thanks to Sideways Phil who called up and asked about how to change a gear set and I said I'll make a video for him this week. So there you go Phil, thanks for the recommendation. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up or consider subscribing. Also too, you can turn on your notifications, follow along on Instagram and Facebook at Power Republic or go to our website www.powerrepublic.com dot com dot au and grab yourself a t-shirt or a Rotax DD2. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.